Hey guys, it's Wally from SwartyPanda.com. Welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about Bitcoin and how it exhibits uh, long call optionality. Um, I know it sounds like kind of complicated, uh, but it's not as bad as you think. Um, I guess I thought like maybe since Bitcoin, like it recently is just like one past like 60,000. Um, it, it's ridiculous. Um, I, I kind of remember like closer to like the beginning of the year when it was like 30,000 I thought oh well maybe it'll pull back and we'll get a chance to kind of accumulate some and like it seems like every time like I like I, I, I look at it it just it's like up like another like thousand dollars or so it's just it's pretty wild I mean it's like a double um and, it, and like the quarter isn't even over yet um so like I thought like all those people that saying like you know two hundred thousand or more uh you know usd price of bitcoin you know i thought it was pretty nuts but then like i'm looking at it now it's it's pretty wild just to see um but anyway i just want to go over why uh uh bitcoin has like long call optionality um if you read like uh like any of the Taleb books um you, you're probably familiar but just in case you're not um I'll, I'll probably go over it um and it might be easier for me to just like show you um maybe on the taste of works platform what i'm talking about in terms of like the the whole uh options uh profile uh, some of you have maybe have already um studied this in either your textbooks or like in informally on you know if you just like google like a long call option and um like the you know the, the profile and then why like you know bitcoin is is pretty similar to like having a long call in your uh portfolio and why i think um, at the very least, you should consider like adding like a little bit. Um, I know like some people are still afraid that you know it's you know there's all this like weird fud. Um, but but let me just like let's head over to the Tastyworks platform. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So see you there. Hey guys, welcome back to my platform. Uh, so I just want to show you how um, Bitcoin um, exhibits long call uh, optionality. But I guess like in before I can kind of like show you, uh, in general, uh, long calls or, or long options um, rather, um, they they have a similar um, uh, profile where um, if you look over here, um, this this uh, horizontal line, um, that'll be the same for uh, whether you're your long uh, call options or put options because this is like represents like the premium that you paid um in order to to have this position um the only difference is, is the direction um uh, mo most uh platforms will have like the prices going from i guess like left to right so it you know as the price increases um for a put options of your long puts like you're up to to up to a certain point you're going to be out of out of the money so like there's a strong chance that a this, uh, particular option will expire worthless um but if within the the time frame um that you have for the option uh if for example i'm using a uh, pindodo as an example uh so for, if you just happen to buy uh this particular uh option um, assuming you can get filled at the mid price, you'd probably be out uh, nine hundred fifty-five dollars if uh, Pinodo doesn't um, expire uh, below. Uh, I want to say uh, uh, so. It would be one hundred sixty-one dollars uh, uh, less the the nine fifty-five that you that you paid for it. So you really want it to be below, you know, ideally below one hundred fifty-one dollars. Um, so because that that'll that'll be a break even, and then it, if you notice, um, as as the price decreases, the the price of the option increases. Um, so then, but then now let me uh, flip it around uh, to a call option, where if I hit go. And by the way, this is in the uh, the trade tab under the the analysis section. So this is like where 
um, you know, if, if you're using Tastyworks or, or something, or that has a similar uh, option charting feature, it'll probably look something like this, where where you can kind of like estimate like how um, uh, one, well, one, like where your break even is, that's probably one of the most important part. And then where you start to like make some money. So it gives you kind of like, like a, you know, kind of plan out like your trade a little bit. So for a long, for a long call, a uh, similar thing where um, along the, the horizontal, uh, you, this, this is like the price that you paid for the option. So assuming you get filled at mid price, like you'll pay, you know, eleven hundred dollars and five cents. Um, but then, so in, for the for call, like um, I know uh, this is kind of like options one hundred and one, but you know, you, I'm surprised like how many new option traders don't don't know this. So it's a little it's a little scary. Um, uh, and I hope like you'll you guys will take the time to learn. I know like things are exciting in the market, but like please just understand like at least the basics. Um, so your break even like for this one would be like one hundred sixty one dollars plus like this eleven oh eleven oh one, so about one hundred seventy two before like the option starts to make money, and that's that's really critical for people to understand. But then like let's say it does go above like one seventy one. Uh, that's where like you know things can get like really fun for you because then you'll have like you know gamma on your side um, as it approaches like expiration and then like this could really like like shoot up um, but that's like a you know a very optimistic example because you still have to uh, clear like that kind of like that hurdle rate of like your long options premium uh, and that's why I generally speaking I like to have uh, I like to sell options because like it gives one um, it gives me like the kind of like the cash up front and then so the market has to kind of it really doesn't even have to move um, in my favor it just like has to sit there and then like time will erode and then you know I'll, I'll just buy it back at a cheap hopefully a cheaper price um, but there are times when uh, you know having some long options as you know, speculations could be helpful, uh, whether to the long side of, you know, for example, uh, a call or a put side. Uh, if, if you think like, you know, there might be some 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 crazy action to the downside, uh, like what we just saw recently in March. Um, uh, so it could be helpful. Um, and then that brings me back to, to Bitcoin. Um, I'm just gonna use it like the Bitcoin Cash because the, the features aren't um, aren't here yet, or, or like I, I the aren't um, aren't open yet. Uh, so it'll probably be uh, later on, like uh, uh, tonight, uh, my time. So like when it opens, but like the cash markets, you can still trade them. Um, my guess is that it's a little overextended, but I could be wrong. Um, every time I, I try to wait for a dip, like it, it doesn't happen, so like I, I keep on waiting. Um, I'm really kicking myself where, you know, about a, a year ago, like when it was, you know, during the, the, uh, you know, like the, the March 2020, uh, like crash like I, I i kind of remember like when it was around like you know six thousand ish and i was a little afraid to buy like like a lot because i, I you know because i thought you know it might crash some more and now i'm really regretting it because it's i mean that that could have been like my my best all-time trade but unfortunately i didn't really um you know get enough and i, I I just kept waiting for for dips and like they like you know when the dips do happen like it, i'm not in time to to take advantage of it because like you know first you have to transfer like you know cash from your from your bank to like whatever exchange that you use and then like by the time like you know you, you wait at least like three to five like business days and then like the dip isn't over and so th then you buy at like bad prices so i guess like going for, uh forward 
I'll, I'll keep a little bit of USD in like the exchange and then and then when it, when it does like pull back then I'll like I'll just like try to snap uh, snap some up I mean because like there, there hasn't really been like I like even if you look at this chart over here like you haven't you don't see any any um like test to like the lower Bollinger band to like you know two standard deviations um so you know i like i guess like sometimes i'm too cautious um and that that's kind of like my that 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 might be like a downfall well i actually maybe not a downfall but i guess like i give up a lot of like upside um potential and that that could um hurt me eventually because you know if i if i'm not if my performance doesn't even keep up with inflation um, then, you know, all this trading is just, like, for nothing, um, but anyway, uh, uh, going back to, like, you know, how, how Bitcoin can exhibit, like, a long call option, um, you know, basically, you're, you're, you're only out, um, the price of what you, whatever you pay for, for Bitcoin, um, but, but, you know, if you had added, like, Bitcoin to, like, your portfolio, just, like, like, even if you didn't buy it, like, you know, six thousand. If you bought it like ten thousand or twenty thousand, that's that. You know, l let's say you bought it like um thirty thirty thousand. That's that was already a double uh, from like uh, when, when was it? Um, yeah, I mean, even if you like closer to like the beginning of the year. So let me see. Uh, April, uh like January. Yeah, like. Like January, if you bought it like twenty nine thousand, that's like that was like easy. Well, I don't I don't want to say easy, but because there were some pullbacks and people were a little bit afraid. But look at that. I mean, it was just like so. Like it was just like hugging like the moving average, and that's like very rare to see, uh, at least for me. Because like every other like asset, um, even like MicroStrategy, like it was pretty. That was a really rocky, uh, crazy, crazy move. Like it, it was re really way way overbought and then it came like crashing down so now it's closer to like more of like a fair value um so you know just goes to show you nobody knows uh what can happen um and i'm really well i guess like sh i shouldn't be too surprised of how how strong bitcoin is like, especially like like we just passed another like you know close to two trillion dollar in stimulus and then the fed will be meeting um later to, to kind of like see how they want to um manage like the interest rates so i think like like again i i think like this year will still ha still be an up year and then but i think like like the the big move in stocks i think is likely to either slow down or like reverse direction so i bought some puts just in case but um unlike last last year um i i don't see bitcoin really like you know if, if it does pull back i'll be happy to, to buy some um because you know like supply isn't going to really increase unless there's, a, there's like a whole bunch of like crazy uh, government uh, restrictions uh, throughout the world. It would have to be really coordinated because, uh, you know, all the bad news regarding Bitcoin is, is kind of, like, lame. Um, uh, you know, a few years ago, they, they, you know, they're trying to tie a Bitcoin to, like, you know, criminal activity, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but that, that's not going to fly going forward because, you know, in order to you know, for criminals to transact, they would have to like, you know, get someone in exchange first, uh, fill out anti money lo money laundering law, and comply with like you know your customer rules, etc. It's just very unlikely at this point. Um, and then also, I guess like the second point of like, like a uh, like bad news, is, like you know the amount of like uh, energy that that Bitcoin uses, but but if you look at just like like even just like the US dollar, like look at how many banks that are open and then also yeah, I mean physical locations, like um and then also like 
you know the central bank i'm pretty sure like has has to run the printing presses uh and not just in the united states but throughout the world so it, you know it's kind of strange how people don't don't take the time to do that calculation because I, I would like to see like a like an apples to apples comparison um and then also like you know i guess like uh depending on how how um much into ec economics that you're in like you know oil it's oil too is uh tied to the u.s dollar so you you, you just gotta like ignore that um you know like the, with the petrol dollar and all but uh anyway uh, i don't want to get make this uh video too long-winded but um I, th I think people can consider adding bitcoin to 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 the portfolio as a long call um to kind of enhance your portfolio returns i mean i at this point i, I don't see anything else that comes close I, even like micro strategy i i have a small position in this just to kind of to also um take advantage through the bitcoin using a, just a, like a little bit of leverage um because i just like as a back of the envelope calculation like at this point like micro strategy has enough bitcoin where every 100 shares is roughly the equivalent of a bitcoin and like you know at the rate I, that michael sell is buying it um, you know, it could even um, exceed that, but just as a rough back of the envelope type of calculation, I like to add um, one hundred twenty dollars um, to whatever the price of Bitcoin divided by a hundred uh, to kind of get an estimate of what what micro strategy should be worth. So right now, it's a little bit overvalued. Uh, at least or, or according to my um back of the envelope uh, calculation um you know obviously the market you know wants to pay whatever it wants to pay so for example like back in i guess like early february uh someone was able to was willing to pay you know up to like thirteen hundred dollars for for michael strategy and um i i think they overshot and then like recently they, they overshot to like the downside so i think once people kind of um have, have like their own like range of what what micro strategy is worth um that could be like something that you guys can consider like if you can um uh you know afford to because i know like it's a big product uh you know not everybody can throw around like you know for one like every 100 shares that's like seventy eight thousand um, dollars and not everybody has that but you, you you know um most platforms now you buy to like one share or maybe even like a fractional share so so if like you you don't have access to like a um a digital asset exchange um you, you know micro strategy could be, could be something that um you you can consider but i think like it has like more volatility than even bitcoin itself uh i mean look at the IB rank it's, it's 85 right now um if i wasn't already in in this like i would i would love to like just to like, keep selling puts all day on this um and i actually have in the past and i will continue to do so um uh just be careful with like the um like the buying the, like the buying power um again um just for your information like if you i i wouldn't necessarily go with a, a long call because one it, it's so expensive um you don't want to pay pay for uh, long options when like the ivy rank is like above 50. i mean look at this it's pretty ridiculous for like a one month well actually yeah you know roughly one month uh option you're I mean, your your break even is is too ridiculous. It's like eight hundred, and, uh, so it'll be like nine hundred dollars. Like, I I think Bitcoin will will you know has upside potential, but maybe not that quickly. Um, so I I think like a like a sh like a short put would probably be like a better way to go. I mean, you can sell it. Um, at the time I sold it, uh, like this five hundred strike was pretty pretty decent premium. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in, like closer to like you know, 
like 20 days or so to expiration. Um, I'm hoping the ticket does sell off at like 50% profit. Um, but even now, like if you if you were to to sell the same same one that I that I have at the uh, at the uh, 500 strike, you, you know, that's a pretty decent premium. Um, because unless like Bitcoin takes a takes a huge hit, um, uh, you know, at least in my opinion, uh, I, I think it's worth the risk to get the reward. Cause like, if you, if you get filled at $1,800, um, you know, at a 50% profit, uh, you know, nine hundred dollars is not bad for like one trade. Um, uh, especially like I've been having trouble trying to find like like stocks that I want to. Uh, that's like you know, like you know, fifty percent IB rank or more. So, you know, I think like it should be on your watch list. Like even if you don't want to trade it, I think it's good for just to see how how crazy volatile. Um, maybe like as a paper trade that that's something you can consider um so anyway uh guys um i hope this wasn't too long-winded and i hope um if you enjoyed this like please consider giving this a like um and subscribe and thank you so much um and i'll see you in the next one bye now